Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate an automatic processor for processing X-ray film. So we've got a big occlusal X-ray film there, we've got a normal size and we've got a small X-ray film for children. So bear with me, this machine's not been used for a while, so I've took the lid off. And you've got your four tanks. So you've got your developing tank, you've got your fixer tank, you've got your water tank and then you've got your dryer. So what we'd normally do in the morning is fill the developer up to about here. You put your tank inside slowly, wait for the bubbles to come out. Then you would take your fixer, you would put your fixer in here to about here, and you'd put this tank back in. Then your water tank, again, you would fill water in the tank and then put the rollers back in. And then you've got your drying tank. So there is no tank for this, it's just the rollers because that dries the x-ray film at the end. So if I was to develop an x-ray, we could just do it in normal light. I'll take the film, you put your hands through the sleeves and you can see just here you've got your video. You pull the plastic, pull the paper out until you can find the cardboard and the lead. Put all that in your left hand and then with the x-ray film you would then post through this gap here. Can you see? So your x-ray film would go through there so it's not exposed to the light so the purpose of the video i will demonstrate how this goes in so it'd go through the rollers so when the machine sucks it in it goes all the way down through the rollers for about two minutes time it travels all the way through these rollers once it comes out it then goes through the fixing tank. So again, it would be sucked in through the rollers for the fixing tank and it would go all the way through and it's finished in there. It would then go through the water, through the dryer. When the x-ray film is done, this whole process normally takes about seven minutes. The x-ray will just be there ready for collection. Just to note in the morning, when the x-ray machine is switched on, you need to check the temperature of the solution, what's in here. You need to also make sure at the end of the day, these solutions are special waste. So you'd put the developer and the fixer in the special waste pot. They should have no solutions overnight. This can affect the x-ray film from being developed. Again, if you was going to use one of these Velopex films, you've got your instructions on here as well. Everything at the end, as I said in my other video, goes into the clinical waste bin. Your lead has to go into the lead foil box, which is special waste and that will be collected.